Hey everybody and welcome. Today we are here in Gordonsville, Tennessee and we're getting ready to take you guys along with us to... Timberloft. Down here are the stuffed potatoes with the various meats that you can stuff it with. Here is the chicken selection that they have. Right here are items that are fresh from the smoker. If you look closely, they do have slow smoked St. Louis cut with Louisiana dry rub, but they also have Texas style barbecue as well. And there's some Jack Daniels barbecue, Tennessee based. Cheese steaks, steaks, and here are the sides that are available. Here are the tacos. They also have a burger selection. And down here, Cajun chicken pasta. And here is the kids' menu. And they are proud to be a locally owned small business, 25 years in business. It's amazing. And we are here on a Sunday afternoon. Here are the Sunday specials. They do have Valentine cocktails that are available for the entire month of February. And here are the desserts. And check this out. They actually have real carnations and a little candle burning right there on the table. All right, Gentry, what'd you end up getting there? I got a with fries and honey mustard and ketchup. All right, and Henry, what did you end up getting? And it looks good. It's a barbecue slider. All right, Jennifer, what did you end up getting there? I got the Cajun chicken pasta with the creamy Parmesan sauce and Texas toast. I ended up getting the ribs. It comes with pickled red onions, cornbread. This is pineapple coleslaw. That's very interesting. And this is whiskey barbecue baked beans. And then there's a sauce right over here to the side. So first of all, I really like the presentation. It was a really pretty bowl. And then they also put some of the herb and Parmesan seasoning around there. And there's that grilled chicken. It looks like it has some good grill marks on there. And this is a Cajun Alfredo sauce, so probably have a little, little bit of spice to it. It's very tasty. It's really creamy. Um, there's not a whole lot of spice to it, but it's just enough. There's a little bit of a, a kick in the background, but it's not overpowering. It's really like a comfortable heat. Really good. I'm going to try some of the noodles. And that garlic bread looks really good too. It looks like it has a good amount of garlic and butter on it. Looks like it's going to be crunchy and crispy. Yeah, I love Texas toast. It's very good. The noodles are sauced really well and they're al dente, which is how I like them. It's perfect. So this looks like it's buttered really well and toasted perfectly. That's really good. It's really good and crispy and, and then it's soft on the bottom. Just the way I like it. What did you get, Britt? All right, I'm going to start off here with the pineapple coleslaw. I don't see any pineapple in it. So I'm interested as to why it's pineapple. So I don't know if there's like a little pineapple juice in it and that's what makes it pineapple. But we're about to see, here we go. It's very interesting. It doesn't taste any different than most standard typical coleslaws. I don't taste the pineapple in there. Um, so I may ask about that because I don't see pineapple chunks. I don't taste any prominent pineapple juice. It's good, it's very good. Um, I just don't know why it's called pineapple coleslaw. I'm gonna try the whiskey barbecue baked beans. Now that is a different type of baked bean. That isn't like anything I've ever tried before in a very good way. That 
that is very smoky. Also a little sweet at the same time. I eat a lot of baked beans on this channel. And I've never said at any restaurant that these are my favorite baked beans until today. These are the best baked beans I have ever had. Unbelievably delicious. You're like very like picky about <laughs> picky your baked beans. baked beans. But these are incredible. I would come here just for the baked beans. Look at that. I'm just gonna go ahead and eat it with my hands. I'm gonna eat it first without any of the sauce. See how it tastes. Again, it has that Louisiana rub on there. Take a look at that again. Watch how easy this just tears right off. It doesn't need the sauce, but I'm gonna put the wet sauce on here. There it is. That is some outstanding rub, outstanding ribs. Whether it's with the sauce or without the sauce, that is spot on fantastic. Entry's getting ready to take a bite of his pork slider. slider. Yeah. The sauce, really sauce is really good. This has to be an indication that Henry loves it. He's eating the barbecue with one fork and holding it in the other hand. Henry, how's the barbecue? You're gonna try the cornmeal muffin, yeah. the cornbread muffin. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up so you guys can take a look at it there. All right, here I go. With this, I will tell you. It has sopped up some of the juices from the pickled onions down here. And so the bottom of it tastes kind of like pickled onions. I'm gonna just try the top because I can't really distinguish what's the cornbread taste and what's from the pickled onions. Everything else on this plate is really, really above average. That's probably just an average corn, corn muffin. Final bill here before tip came out to 76.78. For four drinks, two kids' meals, and two adult meals. Pretty good deal. We did not have a wait today, but it, when there is a wait, this is the room that you sit in. How comfortable and relaxing is this? And take a look at this patio. Look how nice this is. Right back here, you can see a really nice fireplace with the outdoor dining. And then, I don't know if you can see it, but I wanna show you that right behind this McDonald's, right back there is a bridge. And you'll start to see some traffic here in a second uh, because that is Interstate I-40. You can see those cars going pretty fast right there. That's I-40. So there's the exit for Gordonsville, Tennessee. And just this close to the interstate, right there, boom, is the Timberloft. And if you take a look right here, you've got the heaters for the winter time. You've got the fans for the summertime. This is just awesome. That was the Timberloft restaurant. Gentry, what do you think about the Timberloft? I definitely will come here again. I like everything I ate. Everything on my plate, it was really good. And you had some of my ribs and you said, if we were to, hear, if we were to go here again, you're going for the ribs, right? Yes. All right. Henry, you're having fun playing with some sticks there. What'd you think about the Timberloft? <laughs> you like my ribs and you had some of mommy's pasta as well, didn't you? Mm -hmm. I think what we need to probably start doing, Jennifer, is just you and I ordering and just splitting some of our plate with Henry because he tends to eat from our plate anyway. I do that with him sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> I do split with him sometimes. What are your thoughts? He wants certain things. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. What are your thoughts on the Timberloft? I thought it was really great. I um, really love the decor and the atmosphere on the inside. It's very calm and you kind of feel like you're in a cabin a little bit. Really, really love that. Everything was very clean, which is awesome. Even the bathrooms, very, very clean for a restaurant bathroom because you know how that goes sometimes. Um, another thing that I really enjoyed and thought was a neat idea is this is the glass that they serve when you get your drink. And so if you decide that you want to take your drink with you, all they have to do is bring you a lid and everything. They've already got the straw in there. Um, so we got to take our drinks home and then they have less dishes and we have a to-go drink. So I thought that was really neat. Uh, my pasta was very, very good. It was really tasty. I had some of Brent's ribs. Those were really good too. Um, we will definitely be back here. I will say I really enjoyed this place. 
The only thing that I did not really care for too much was the cornbread muffin. It looked like it was gonna be sweet, delicious, uh, but I didn't come here for a cornbread muffin, so I can't really say anything about that. But if you do get the same meal that I did when you come here, I would probably ask for the cornbread muffin to be placed away from uh, the pickles and the pickled onions because it really soaked up the flavor of that and the juices from that. And it tasted like pickled onion cornbread, which was not very good. But that was completely overshadowed by the amazing ribs. Now, if you've been watching our channel for a while, you know that this past October, we went to the Pigeon Forge Rib Fest where we judged some ribs. And I will say, if those ribs were placed in the Pigeon Forge Rib Fest competition, they would certainly be one of the top contenders because those ribs here were incredible. I can't stop thinking about them and I'm, <laughs> they were so good. And if you've ever, you know, cooked ribs, smoked ribs, you know it's an art to be able to get that crispiness on the outside, the tenderness on the inside. And of course, then you have the rub that, that is taken into consideration for the flavor, as well as that mop sauce. And every single aspect of the ribs here were phenomenal. Best baked beans I have ever had. Documenting it right now, best baked beans I have ever had. They were fantastic. The pineapple coleslaw, don't really understand still why it's pineapple coleslaw. We forgot to ask the waitress why. Um, she was a little busy, but uh, maybe there's a hint of pineapple juice, but if there is, it's not prominent enough to really stand out uh, that there's pineapple in it. So, have no idea why it's pineapple coleslaw. It was good, but uh, just not what I anticipated. I was thinking there's going to be like chunks of pineapple in it, but all in all, the ribs were, like I said, awesome. A slam dunk, and man, those baked beans, you got to get you some if you come out here. Guys, we thank you so much, as always, for watching today's episode. And we sure do look forward to seeing you on the next episode of Everyday is Saturday.